Bro. Um, he was called the uh, man out there on both sides. Oh, that's yeah. Abraham. Abraham was a friend. Was his friend. You got it. It says, uh, verse uh, 37, it says, David said, Moreover, the Lord that hath delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. Hey, so that his power, whom he was in subject to, was delivering and, and take down that, that uh, the enemy. Because it was, as Howard Scheiser said, it's not you that hated me, it's you that hate who sent me. Uh, you, hate, you hate who sent me. So the Philistine, Goliath, wasn't, wasn't against the nation of Israel, but he was trying to pretty much defy Yahweh himself. And David reminded uh, uh, the nation of that. They was all, well, they, they, were, they, were, uh, they were enemies. Right. You know, so when we came into the land of Canaan, Yep. The Philistines were like our major uh, yeah. rivals. Yeah. So it was in constant battles with them. So of course, them worshiping the God that they serve, yeah. and then we worshiping the true Most High God Creator. Yeah. It was it was a clash, and that was like a battle of who God wins. Yeah. Yeah. But they was relying on his physical, Goliath's physical strength, yeah. and they was relying upon the strength that comes from the yeah. heavens. Yeah. You know. So of course, <laughs> which God was gonna win that? Right. The mo the Heavenly Father, the Most High. Right. right. And that's you know, when Israel have that power of, of belief and faith, the moment your uh, faith is, is is eradicated, it's like you become uh, uh, defenseless. Yeah. You have no power. You know, when our when our faith is is is, is, is where it needs to be. That's when the Heavenly Father, His power is active among us. But when our faith is very low, and Jake is not believing, but they put their trust and faith in other idols and gods and stuff like that, that's where the Lord, and in our carnality, that's where the Heavenly Father will draw His power. That's how, that's how you know it was an act of the Heavenly Father to allow a, weak na a weaker nation like Esau to take down a stronger nation like Jacob. So, you go on to the book of Judges, having all these wars, what, what was uh, in Joshua, you had all these wars, but what, what was going on? When we believed, man, we were undefeated. Yeah. When our faith began to waver, or our pride uh, uh, was too lifted up, the Heavenly Father has to humble us. Yeah, and, it was, right? and due to Jake's uh, following of idols, yeah. you know, that's why we was putting that situation. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 6, yeah. but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, uh -huh. and that he is a rewarder of them that did diligently seek him. Right, that's the only way to appease the Heavenly Father. And in that chapter, it's an excellent example of even the armies that trusted in Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Okay? Through their faith and belief. Alright? Judith 5 and 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error against this people, if they sin against their power, let us consider that this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. And that's how we are taken down, by, by our disbelief or lack of belief in the Heavenly Father. And when we, when we go off, that's when they're, that, uh, they're kicking our armor. That's when we can be taken down. That's why we're being overran right now. Majority of our nation is going is to um, be in the, in, the, in the energy of the beast. Okay, trying to live that image, that way of life. Okay, and, and a lot of will even take his mark. But the point is, when you stay strong in, 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 uh, in the spirit of power of your by you got shot, no one can, no one can take you down. You're invincible. So to speak. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by lest their Lord defend them and their power be for them yes. and we become a reproach before all the world. Right. Right. Wrote it right there. Yeah, back in those times when we were in good standing with the Father, we had that, that divine connection. Yeah. When we went to war, 10 of us would be able to put 10,000 to fight. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. We will go out to battle and we, 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 man, we run whole cities off. Go ahead. You know? 
But once the most high, when he turns it back to us, the opposite effect. It's like a, a, a good analogy I've heard before was it's like we're drunk trying not to get day break. Great, sorry. But you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like we don't we don't have our senses. We will allow talk to anybody, we don't we're not we don't we're not all there. So they can easily come in and distract us and take us off and, and you know, take us captive. God, I was about to say, going off is our kryptonite. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Get it yeah. uh, back in uh, 1 Samuel 17, I'm, I'm jump down to um, verse 44. Uh, and it says, And the Philistines said to David, matter of fact, we start up uh, 40, 42. It says that when the Philistines looked about and saw David, he was he, he disdained him. For he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. Basically meaning like this dude, he's a little pretty boy. Yeah, that's what I'm like I, I know this, this this young pretty boy ain't gonna come and challenge me to, 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 a, to a battle, to a duel. <laughs> he look like he ain't never been in no, no real wars. So it, it, it almost feel like he he, he felt kind of uh, <laughs> uh, disrespected yeah. that, that, that David has the courage to, to, to challenge him in front of the armies. Yeah. Yeah, he was young and ready. Yeah. Young and ready meaning not like like this, you know these Christians and oh, yeah. Edomites. They try to say that they try to use that to say, oh David was a was a he was red like us. He was a, he, he was a basically had the complexion of a, a, a Caucasian Edomite. Um. Oh. Meaning David, David had a he, he had a youthful uh, look to him. He had a glow. He was like when you look up a, 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 a ruddy brown, you can see that 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 that, that smooth color, almost maroon. Yeah. Not 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 blood showing forth through your skin. Like Sinbad. Sinbad, but but even but even um like a, uh, like a light skin. Like a, like a red. What they, what they call a red bone. Yeah, light skin Jacob Tim, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. You know. But in the, I want to make a point. In the previous chapter, um, Samuel said the uh, Most High looked on the. Yeah. Inward, inward, inward. Yeah. and you know he was. You can see, see that uh, Goliath wasn't spiritual because he's looking at his outward appearance and thinking he, oh, he's not a soldier. You yeah. know how many? You know he hasn't slayed as many people by slayer or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. The Most High looked at the inward part. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. and that's and that's the same way we we come both like they came both because this world that we're fighting up against, though it has a lot of spiritual implications to it, it's still it's still based in carnality. Okay, when, when 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 all life on the planet is subject to the will of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, and he prophesied already what would happen at the end. As long as we continue to stay aligned with that, we're on the right side of prophecy, we should be fine. Well, we're winning, of course, right? The world of the elect. Yeah, it says, And the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog hmm. that you come to me with staffs? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Hmm. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beast of the field. Yeah. Yeah. Well, going to pick up your in his mind, in his eyes, this is going to be easy work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I usually get rid of dudes that's way bigger, stronger. Yeah. You know? Like, and, and it's, it's spiritual because in, spiritual, in the ancient world, the Most High, that's what we say, the Most High built the Pharaoh. The Most High built up the reputation of Goliath as this great warrior. He didn't slay. He probably, you know, he probably didn't put in work. You know, he, and then to build, to, to, to build his reputation up. So when David was able to slay him, it 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 um it put really to glorify the Most High even more. Mm -hmm. And did the scripture say that uh, Goliath cursed the name of the Most High, yeah. or said something like that? Yeah. 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 But that didn't have no effect. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no enchantment against Jacob. Exactly. Right? Same thing with Esau. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the elites on the left hand side, not only do they have these meetings about how they're going to uh, try to, uh, you know, press, push legislation through to get us to, to not speak, to be able to speak out against them. To, to, to make us uh, so-called terrorists or whatever, but they also are sending curses on us too. Yeah. They communicate with the spirits to, to, to come against us. But we know that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, hey, the, 
the, the Lord has command over these uh, demons, even these left-hand spirits that they uh, communicate with. Mm -hmm. You know, it says, uh, then said David to uh, the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of Yahweh of hosts. And so the difference of that, the blessing of the sword versus the blessing of the Holy Spirit. Yep. You know, it's showing you the duality. If these are written for the time, are written for our learning. This, is, this has a lot of spiritual implication to you. You got it, bro. It says, The God of the armies of Israel, whom thou, did, whom thou hast defied, this day will the Lord deliver me, so I can deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Right. Yeah. And, and, and uh, a, 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 a spiritual correlation to that. Is what we're spiritually doing right now in the, right. in the face of him that afflicts us. Yep. Right. We're, we're literally telling Esau that despite you having all this strength and all this wealth, Making all you got the laws. blessing of the sword, you got the power, you got all that. Yep. But yet, we're still going to consume you by the spirit of the Lord's mouth. Yep. You're still going to be brought down by the, the, the power, all right, that you're going to, that you're subject to. Right, you, the Lord, when He comes back, you're gonna, he, you're gonna be His footstool, and He's gonna have His foot on. Okay. You're gonna be subject, man. So we're not afraid to, just like uh, David wasn't afraid and he was bold. We have that same level of boldness, man. Right. That we believe on, on the power of the Spirit of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? If they hate you, love or not, because they hated me before they hated you, and if they hated me, they hated him who sent me. I bring that up again to say, hey, they believe that, that they're 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 directly going against the, the Most High. That's what uh, their prophet Noah, you all Harari was talking about. We don't have to wait for the God of the Bible to come out the sky and rescue everybody. We got it. We got it down here. Yep. We go right into 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter. You see it, it sits in the temple of God, saying that he is God, showing himself that he is God. Um, I forgot how it's going to go. Yeah, showing himself that he is God. basically, that's the point. So he's trying showing to be himself that he is God. Showing himself, thinking that he's a God himself. Mm -hmm. That he, that he can actually compete with the will of the Heavenly Father, with his own will, which is uh, the truth. So his boldness and his pride is going to get him jacked up. And we're here to remind him about that as well. Okay. Uh, real quick. Yep. Uh, Psalms 9 verse 20. It says, Put them in fear, O Yahweh, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Yeah, it's kind of... It's um, a precept in the book of Maccabees. It says, uh, Victory standeth not in the multitude of the host, yeah, yeah, but strength... Yeah, yeah, but strength cometh from heaven, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And a lot of those people as well. That was good. Shalom, brothers. Nothing holy about me. Y'all more? I'm gonna get that in my Yeah, Israelites, that's so cool. And you know I'm not saved either. Because I'm still trying to endure to the end. Everything they say in this country lasts the whole three and And look, you know you've got to pray, because I'm praying. Shalom, you Shalom, 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 uh, second Maccabees 15 starting at 7 it says but Maccabees had ever sure confidence that the Lord would help him uh -huh. wherefore he exhorted his people not to fear the coming of the heathen against them but to remember the help which in former times they had received from heaven just like we were just reading about with, with uh, David yeah. he was, he, the, the level of confidence that he had because he knew that the, heaven, the, the power of the heavenly father rested with them. Right? That's the same uh, level of boldness 
that we that we as men standing on these streets, yep. standing before he that have uh, uh, wisdom, uh, and wisdom of Solomon, yeah. that stood in, in, in the face of him that have a 